sun. Plus, some of the hottest air of the year and plenty of humidity, too. We'll show you how long that lasts. And several central Arkansas counties will soon be connected by 200 miles of biking trails. Why it couldn't come at a better time for the city of Conway. The news starts now. From the station that's on your side, this is Channel 7 News at 10. Well, good evening. It has been a stormy Monday in some parts of Arkansas, so we do begin here in the Channel 7 Weather Center with Chief Meteorologist Barry Brandt. Things are still kind of popping out there right now. Yeah, some lightning and thunder. I don't think any severe threat, really, for the later on tonight, though. And we just still have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect. This is kind of a short-term thing. The heat is going to be the bigger story. But you can see the area in blue is in a severe thunderstorm watch. Some northern and northeastern counties in the state have been removed from that. We still have thunder and lightning in northern Faulkner County and headed down through Van Buren and Cleburne County as well. Those are all m making their way south. Now, they're dying, but they may make it down to Greenbrier. In fact, they probably will, and Conway, and possibly even Little Rock. As we head through the day tomorrow, we'll see another little disturbance move across the northeastern counties of the state, right there. But the bubble of heat is starting to build in, and it's really pushing that rain up to the north. A heat advisory in effect for most of the state, and it's also an excessive heat warning right here in the River Valley and up into White County. We're at 85 right now. It's rain cooled up in North Arkansas.